Okay, guys, when we go in on the body lock, what I want you to do is this. Put your face on his pec muscle, your, your cheek specifically, so that your eye is looking at his shoulder. Don't be too high on the shoulders. There is a time and a place to do this, but not for body locks. And definitely don't be too low. So be right here. If you look at where my head is, I'm right on the shoulder, okay? And what we're gonna aim to do is, we're gonna bring him down at an angle where if you see where his knee is, it's very low to the floor, okay? What we don't want is this knee to be high, okay? Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna force a half guard, okay? And to force a half guard, if the knee is high, you can do it, but it's really risky. You're probably gonna get, when you bring this leg up, yeah, he's getting opportunities to sweep you. So we wanna get over this knee, okay? So we're gonna go over his arm. You actually wanna go over the arm when you body lock. Because if I go under, he can either attack sweeps or he can post on the floor with his hands. This is surprisingly difficult to, to drive him down now. He can post, it's really tough actually. And you are gonna potentially overextend yourself. But if we capture an arm, okay? Take this arm, go long with it. So I'm going across the waist and connect your hands and I'm gonna pull his hips in. Now I have his arm trapped, he can't post on that side. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna take him down on this side. And if you look at what my hips are gonna do, let's come up for one second. So if you look at what my hips are gonna do, I'm gonna sprawl, but I'm not just gonna sprawl. My leg doesn't just go back. My leg is gonna close the, the hip, okay? And what that's gonna do, so come here and just go flat on your back and uh, keep your butterfly hooks uh, strong. Okay, so if I just bring my straight back, my leg straight back, I'm not doing anything to beat his hook, right? Look, he, he can keep his butterfly hook no matter how hard I kick my leg back. That's not gonna beat the hook. What will beat the hook is this. I'm gonna close my hip and I'm gonna walk this way. Okay, that makes it very hard for him to keep the hook. And even if he does keep the hook, so keep, keep, keep the hook, even if he does, he can keep it, it's not a strong hook. He can't really do that much with this hook. Okay, does that make sense guys? So again, just to just look at my hips and what they're doing, it's not just going straight back. I see a lot of people when they try to beat the hooks here, they just kick the leg back as hard as they can and that's not gonna do it. You close the hip and step the other leg up. So we close our hip. So when I say close, I mean right, this is open, right? This is open, the opposite of that. But don't do this either, because then you're not, you're not really gonna be able to stay on top. You go like this, okay? So I take this leg, I step it up to give myself a base as I close the other hand, okay? And then as I'm doing that, I'm using my head going into this shoulder and bringing this down this way, okay? So let's go back. Okay, we can actually pull his hips in. Then I'm gonna bring him this way and then I'm gonna sprawl like this. Okay, now I wanna walk my left leg up and I'll just take a half guard. He, he will probably take a half guard. If he does it, there's other things that can happen, but let's just assume he does, okay? We walk this leg up. Now I'm gonna put my left leg down and I'm gonna bring my head over the other shoulder. And now we're in the same position we were before, but now we have a body lock and a, uh, like with an arm cast, okay? Now here he might keep his legs locked, but let's assume for a second he takes a butterfly gun, okay? If he does this, we're gonna do almost the same thing. I extend my right leg, I put this hook in, then as soon as I get my left leg hooked, I step my right leg up, okay? Now I'm gonna show the pass and then I'll break it down. Okay, so what we're doing here is this. 
it's don't think of it as a hip switch okay you can call it that if you want but don't think of it that way what i want you to think of it as is as a knee cut over this ankle what i do is i lift my right leg it's really hard to show this slow guys i lift my yeah i lift my right leg and i turn my knee and it cuts over the ankle and then they both drop out okay so this move i think it looks like you have to be like a freak athlete to do this it, you don't it's it's just about understanding what's happening with my knee and his ankle if my knee it, look i come up so follow it just a little bit and then it's going to go over okay the reason it's hard for me to do this now is because he his this leg is not pinned but <coughs> if this is pinned it's really easy to go over okay so again we're here up 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 i go this way and then it's going to go over like this so it's like a knee cut it's like a knee cut over the ankle. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So, so we're here. So I sit up. We have a body lock. I go here. First, you start by walking this up. Then you bring your hips up. This comes up, and then I'm going to turn this way, and the knee comes out first. Then I take the ankle off. And then I would keep my hips facing this way at first. Makes it harder for the knee guard. Walk this and back in. And then you've got your pass. Okay? And, and another thing that's good here is he can't post with his hand. Because you're trapping it, right? So it's a lot harder for him to post with it. You can trap and hold and start moving up to a cross face on him. Okay, so let's go on this side. Don't drive in here. If you drive in, you're giving him sweeps. You want to pull his hips in, then you can bring him down. Then I can scroll, then I can walk my legs up. I turn my face over the other cheek. So, so this position here with my legs, I call this a top tilt. So this is the first thing we did. We have a top tilt. Now from the top tilt, he might not go half butterfly, of course, right? He might just keep his legs locked. But if he does, one thing we can do is this. Now let's say we can't get that. Let's say no matter what I do, he's too flexible. I cannot get my left leg hooked inside. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna take this cross face, make it nice and strong. I'm gonna take this hand out and I'm gonna post on the floor. I'm gonna walk this way to get this knee going this way. Then I'm gonna go inside here it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go over the top like this okay this works especially well if he pushes back you can go over the top and I usually try to either land like this to see how my hips are not directly over his or in like a knee on belly with like a ten finger grip cross face I find this is pretty easy to hold okay so the first pass it just mainly comes down to like what you're capable of doing with your legs, right? If I can get this, I'm gonna do the first pass, okay? If I can't, I can't pummel this foot inside, I'm gonna walk his legs this way, go inside here, and go over, okay? Make sense, guys? So, in the beginning, we talked about you can go through or over the half guard. This is, this is going over the half guard, all right? Does that make sense, guys? When he uses the, the half butterfly rather than the regular half guard. Okay, all right, let's give it a try. One, two, three. Let's go over something I just thought about that might that might help with this. This is not a real pass, what I'm about to show. Like, this will never work. I don't want to say never, probably will never work. Like, it's a real person. Um, but it's kind of a useful way to see the pass that we're doing, right? So there's two parts to this pass. There's the body lock part, and then there's what we're doing with our legs. So if we kind of separate them, it'll make it a little bit easier to understand uh, each part. Okay, so... Post on the floor with your hands. It, it, this is, only do this if you're struggling with the pass. Uh, if you're struggling, struggling with what's happening with the legs, post on the floor and now keep your legs in the correct position. So if you see my right leg, the hip is open. My left leg, I'm stapling down his, his uh, thigh on the other side. And now I lift my leg up and look, I turn my knee and we slice over the ankle. And then I take both legs out, right? And we're doing this without the body lock. So you can kind of do it like really slow 
and understand the mechanics. Because what, you, what I don't want you guys to think of this pass as, as is like, oh, I'm just aggressively switching my hips and flipping around in the air. Like that's not, that's not what's happening. There's a specific mechanic that we're employing, which is, it's, it's like, okay, I'm taking, really all we're doing is just taking our knee. We're going over here, right? Like we're finding a way, we're finding a way to hold down this leg and his hips and then take this leg and go over the ankle. Right? Like that's, that's what we're doing. So we're here. See, see, it's all about the direction of my knee, right? See here, up, turn, I go over, and then that's the pass. And then if you look at, guys, look at my leg position. See who my right leg's over the top of my left leg? This is very similar. We, we haven't looked at this yet, but we will later. This is very similar to what we're gonna do when we do an ankle first method of passing through the half guard. So we looked at knee first, we also have ankle first, right? So what we're doing here is the position we end this pass in is very similar. This is a very similar position as when we do an ankle first method of passing through the half guard. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Yes, okay. And again, you, you don't need to do this if you're not struggling, but if you are, give this a try. Okay, one, two, three. To do this, two, two, what do you think he's actually gonna do? So step this thing up. Stop, stop, stop. Step it up. Yeah. 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 yeah, and then he's gonna yeah. he's gonna hip yeah. out, you can hip out, shoulder, hip is Yeah, exactly. And then he's gonna regard, right? Like, so you have to have something to hold, because like uh, the purpose of your arms here is to keep yourself attached as your legs, your legs are getting disattached and then they're coming back down. But there's a period where there's no attachment with the legs, right? I mean, we're little attached, right? When you raise this leg up, does that make sense? So you need the arms to hold him. Right, because otherwise you're just gonna push and hip out and get away. Right, does that make sense? Yeah, so there, if he's right in, I would focus on getting closer to her, to his hips. Like if you're here, I wouldn't try to pass here just yet. I would focus on the couple things here. You could try to smash him to the side. Or like, my favorite thing to do is just find ways to get into it. I like just trying to find ways to get into a half guard. Because when you get into a half guard, you can, he can't, he can't push with his legs, and you can stay chest to chest, and then it's very easy to control what's happening. He doesn't have too many options, and you can start working into like a very predictable set of passes, like the passes we're looking at today. Yeah, does that make sense? Yes? Okay, good. Good question. 